Hi guys, uh, welcome to the latest tutorial and today it's a nice simple clean sports poster. Uh, okay, I've got an image here that I saw on uh, Pinterest and Google searches, Google images. I thought yeah, real nice and uh, clean so we're going to do something similar. Uh, we've got a nice gradient in the background. Okay, we've got a bit of a shadow, a bit of a reflection and then down the bottom we've just got a, a logo. And there's a little bit of dodging and burning as well, uh, not a great deal. But again, just uh, just enough to add some effect. So, without further ado, get straight into it. So, I'm using a Mac. I'm going to press Command N for a new document. A little bit slow, and I am using 1280 by 720, and it is a portrait orientation, a white background, RGB color, 8-bit resolution, 144 pixels per inch and click create and command zero bring that up to full speed okay the first thing you do is just a gradient so i'm going to go down here to uh, my adjustment layers and I click gradient okay i want to make sure it's uh, it's radial and make sure i'm going to pick the black and the white i'm going to double click them okay and it's going to bring up my foreground and background colors okay so the colors I'm going to be using, so I'm going to select uh, this little color down, a uh, little down here, this little palette. Okay, and I'm going to type in C9, C8, C7. Okay, and that's a nice whitish gray that I uh, identified earlier. I think I may be in the wrong ones. No, right one. Okay, yeah. So again, uh, just like I've done there, okay, I'm going to click down on this color palette here. Okay, and just in the color number, I'm going to choose 4E. 5C 5F and as you can see it's given me this nice uh, darky grey colour. Okay just keep the angle at 90 degrees scale I'm going to bump up, oh, fuck, sorry wrong, click OK I'm going to bump up to around 140 maybe a little bit less so I'd like it nice and dark around the bottom and along the top we'll go with 120 Okay, uh, just click align with layer just so uh, the, the gradient stays uh, stays central and click OK. Okay, so there we've done our background, nice and simple, uh, took a couple of minutes. Okay, uh, at this point, okay, you can bring in your image. I've got, I've got this uh, this image here, okay, it's, obviously it's an advertisement and there's been quite a lot of uh, shading and work done on this one, uh, one already, so you can uh, drag and drop. Okay, but just for the uh, just for the sake of this, I'm just going to drag it across just to save out uh, all the cutting and messing around. So I'm just going to highlight this layer. I'm just going to drag him into here. Okay, so again, choose your image, put him in, and cut him out. Uh, you can also get these uh, renders just from Google searches. I think this this player here, I've no idea who he is, but. Um, just type in uh, NFL render, NFL PNG, those sorts of uh, files, they, they pop up as well. Or just uh, Google image search, a nice decent uh, image, high resolution. Okay, drag it in and uh, cut them out. So I'm going to press Command T to bring up uh, the boxes. Shift and Alt allows me to, oh, to grow in proportion. I'm just going to place them around. Okay, and this resolution here is... Uh, similar to that of a phone screen for like an iPhone so uh, that's why I've gone with these uh, images so if you could use it as a, as a phone background I'm just going to hit enter and it's looking quite good okay so now I'm just going to do the reflection so I'm going to make sure I'll call this NFL player okay and I'm going to make sure it's highlighted I'm going to press command J to copy it or you can just simply hold that layer down and just click on a new layer and it copies it there so I'm just going to click the one uh, one underneath. I'm going to press Command T on the Mac. So I've selected it. I'm going to uh, double click or right click, and I'm going to click Distort. In fact, wrong. No, I'm not. I'm going to double click, and I'm just going to go to Flip Vertical. So now he's upside down, and I'm just going to drag him down and align the feet up. Pretty simple stuff. Hit Enter. We're good to go. Okay. So now uh, we want to fade that out. So we're going to add a, a layer mask, so I'm going to come down here to this uh, rectangle with a little circle. 
and click on the layer mask. I'm going to hit the brush tool, it's going to bring up the B. Okay, and I've got a nice soft brush, okay. Uh, I've got this brush here, and then what you can do is you can just drag it down to a bit of a, an oblique. And sorry, before I do that, uh, sorry, yep, yeah, so before I start doing the actual shadow, what I'm going to do is with the flow, uh, I've brought that down to about 45. Uh, make sure you've got black selected over here. Okay, and what that does is it just paints away uh, your pixels. And again, if this is non-destructive, flip them over so that it's white. Okay, you can just paint paint it back. So flip it onto uh, onto black on the foreground color. Okay, and you can paint it. And if you look here, if I uh, double click, I disable the layer mask. Okay, all our pixels are still there, rather than just using a razor tool. Okay, uh, if you're familiar with Photoshop, you should uh, you should know that anyway. Okay. So I'm just going to get a nice reflection. You can hold shift down. What that'll do is uh, keep it nice and linear. Okay, if you do a little bit too much like I have there, hit X uh, as a shortcut and it flip it to white. Okay, I'm just going to paint a little bit more, make it a bit smaller. And just play around with it. Yeah, that's faded. That looks, uh, that looks good. Okay, so hit V, hit the move tool. Uh, yeah, brilliant. So we've got our player, got our reflection. Happy days. Okay, so what we need to do in between, we need to uh, add that shadow. So go back to the original, original one. Okay, I'm just going to add that shadow there. So make sure the bottom uh, layer is highlighted. So again, there we can see it's disappeared. I'm going to click new layer. Name this shadow. Okay, I'm going to hit B for brush. And like I showed before, okay, you're going to get a nice soft brush. And just the shape, I'm just going to adjust. So that looks uh, looks about good. Okay, and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm stick with 45. I'm just going to try and get it underneath. And in one go, I'm pretty happy with that. Again, you uh, you can move around and play with it uh, however much however much you like. Okay, so I spoke about uh, doge and burn, dodging and burning. Uh, I'd like to you uh, say it. Okay, it's a handy little technique. So if you're familiar with my tutorials, okay, I do a lot of sh uh, shading with the brush, different layers, and I make um, clipping masks. Okay, and I do the do the highlights. But in uh, in this example, I'm going to do uh, a different technique. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to clip this one. So I'm going to hold down Alt and hover in between the lines, and this symbol appears. Okay, and I'm just going to click X. And again, everything uh, on this layer is now directly affected with, with the layer below. So for example, if I bring up a brush, okay, and I bring the flow up to 100%, it's a black brush. You can see I'm painting, but nothing's happening. But if I drag across, you can see how it paints on that layer. Um, so yeah, so there we go. So what I'm gonna do is uh, uh, with this layer then, okay, I'm gonna go over to my uh, color palette, I'm gonna type in AO, 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 and it brings up uh, this uh, silver grey colour. It's pretty much bang in the middle. I'm going to click OK. OK, as it's the foreground layer, I'm going to hold Alt on the Mac and press Backspace, and it's going to fill it. Uh, I'm not sure of the shortcuts for the window, so I apologise. Uh, just play around or just give it a quick Google. And I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. Okay, so there you can't really see uh, see much of a difference. Okay, make sure it's still highlighted. Okay, I'm going to go to my Doge and Burn tools. The first one I'm going to use is the Burn tool. Okay, and I'm going to make sure the midtones are selected just there at the top. Okay, and the exposure you want it around 10%. And then, like I said before, this is from a, a Nike advertisement or one someone's made up, and they've already done a lot of work on it. Okay, so there's, there's not a lot I've got to do, but again, you can just Doge and burn, just under shadows. Just make it nice and dark, uh, wherever you feel. You can uh, play around with it and just increase those uh, increase those colours as well. So in between the legs, down in the areas where uh, where the light's coming from, as it's coming from behind. Okay, and it just emphasises the shadow and the look and the feel of the image. And if I move the tool, you can see a, you can see a small difference. Again, you can play around with it. 
Okay, and on the same layer, I'm going to click the Doge tool. Okay, so now this is the mid-tones. I've got the exposure down at about 9% there. These are usually the settings I work with on the Doge tool. Okay, you can spend a lot of time, different sizes of the brushes, okay, just increasing uh, those highlights. Again, you want to be careful just, uh, just going over the highlights, not going over the shadows, just undoing all the work that you've just done. Okay, a lot of people, uh, professional designers, not spend a lot of time doing all this sort of stuff. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just quickly going through it. Uh, press Command Zero, bring it up. Uh, you can see a, you can see a small difference, but like I said before, this image was uh, already done to quite a high standard. And as the final touch, I'm just going to drop in the Nike image. It's a Nike PNG image. Uh, hard drive's pretty slow at the minute. Nice. Nice and small, I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to hit enter. Command zero. There we go, there's our uh, nice, clean put, nice, simple and clean sports poster. Pretty straightforward, probably less than 10 minutes there. Again, play around, uh, different players, different colours, okay, with different teams, all right, feel free to play around with the gradients and stuff. And I hope you enjoyed this nice quick tutorial uh, if you liked it hit like leave a comment below share and subscribe i really appreciate uh, help my channel grow thank you very much and i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial